Hello my loves and welcome to a quick Matt Pilates inspired booty and ab workout. No equipment will be necessary for this workout. I do have my one pound ankle weights with me, but all you need is a clear space, a mat if you've got one, and let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start off here in a clamshell position. So your hips, your knees, and your ankles are all gonna be stacked, and they're going to be at a bent angle. You're lifting your knee up to the sky and squeezing as tight as you can through that side booty to really lift your leg up to the sky. I want you to focus on engaging your core here and pushing through your elbow. So your shoulder and your elbow are stacked. This is a full body workout here. But immediately I want your glute to start having that intentional movement with your mind to muscle connection. Squeezing so hard you could shake here for three. For two, we're doing little pulses in one. So just a tiny one inch movement here. This range of motion is tiny because I want you to focus on control and really carving out this muscle. For three, for two, and one. Next, we're gonna go ahead and lift this leg up. Continue to find that straight, strong posture, but you're just dipping your knee down. So I want you to focus on keeping that foot in the same position. The only thing that's moving is your glute muscle turning that knee and tapping down to your other one. So bringing those knees together, but I really want this to be a slow and controlled intentional movement. So this one gets nice and spicy because you're keeping this leg in an elevated position and moving in a movement that's not super natural. This isn't something you're doing your everyday life, but it's like turning a key and tapping down for three, for two, and one. Bring this leg back down and extend. Now we're continuing to carve through that glute max. You're, all, you're able to press your hand through the mat here if you'd like to, but I want you to continue on finding that strong, straight posture all the way through your head, down through your waist, and think about pulling up with the side of that leg. So that beautiful, strong leg and that side booty are getting so much love today. Ooh, this one gets spicy, it's nice and sweaty. Let those endorphins rush over you. This workout is for you. You've showed up, so take whatever level you need here. At the top, I want you to carve forward. So think about making a circle in front of you with your heel. Your foot is flexed. You're sending energy out through your heel. Go ahead and reverse these movements here really sticking with the burn here. I want you to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth to ground yourself in this moment. See if you can make those circles just one inch bigger. We're only here for three. We're holding in two and one. See if you can extend energy through your leg and raise it just one inch higher. Really breathe love into that leg because it's working so hard for you right now. Let's hold it for three, for two and drop it down. Give that booty some much needed love and bring that leg directly into your chest and immediately pushing outward. So we're moving really quickly into this next movement. We don't have a lot of weight to work with here to really challenge these muscles. So all we're focused on right now is endurance and we're focused on burning out these muscles and carving out strength and functional movement that you'll use through every moment of your life. I want these movements, I want these workouts to be something that make you feel strong and capable in your everyday life. We're gonna be here for three, for two, continuing to breathe through this movement, and last one, and little pulses up and down. Really challenge yourself. Find your challenge zone and sit with that today. Sit with yourself in this moment. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and see if you can stick with this. Four, three, good. Four, two, and one. Drop it down, pat that booty out. Switch with me to the other side and we're going to find that same clamshell movement here. Those heels are gonna stay nice and strong. They're gonna stay stuck together here as you engage your core. Push through your shoulder and your elbow into the ground. Engage those postural muscles, distracting yourself from anything but this booty burn that's gonna build so quickly here. So you're really continuing to squeeze that booty so hard it can shake right off the bat, even in this clamshell movement. If you've been doing my workouts, this clamshell might be getting easier for you. So I want you to challenge yourself and pulse at the top. So little one inch movements here. If you need to restack your hips, if you found that your hip has dropped behind you, restack that. So if you had a pull going from one hip to the other, it would go straight up to the sky. It wouldn't be wonky smacking whoever's next to you unless you're alone in your apartment and that's a little weird. Just kidding. Bring this leg up and we're tapping that knee down. 
So moving into that same key movement, as if you're turning a key with the heel of your foot, finding that control through your glute. This one might take a little bit to get the movement of, get the hang of, but as soon as you do, you'll notice that strengthening through your glute max here. So that side booty is getting so much love through this workout. Four, three, four, two, and one. And I want you to extend this leg, readjust your hips, make sure you're still in that line and extend to the top. That foot is flexed, that chest is proud, and you are lifting through Again, that side booty, that long, strong side leg is lifting you up towards the sky. She's doing so much good work for you today. She is your best freaking friend, and she's here to make this one heck of a workout. We're lifting four, three, all this is spicy, four, two, and one. Go ahead and lift that leg back up to the top and challenge yourself to do little circles backwards. I want you to keep those hips stacked on top of one another and really focus on drawing energetic circles with that heel while you breathe love into yourself, into these glutes, into this beautiful, strong leg. Let's reverse these movements. There you go. Just appreciate how much control you have over your leg, over these muscles. These muscles are working so hard to make your life easier, to build this functional movement for you. And I hope you're so proud of the work you're doing today. Let's hold this here really strong. See if you can lift up one inch higher towards the ceiling. Four, three, four, two, and one. I know that's nice and spicy, but I'm proud of you. Lift that leg up towards your chest, and we are almost done with this circuit. You guys showed up for yourself today. You showed up, you showed out, and you freaking did that. You made a promise to yourself, and you woke up and said, I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna give my muscles the love they deserve. I'm gonna find gentle movement for my body. And here you are following through with that. So take a moment to be proud of yourself for finding gentle movement and breathing love into your body at every moment. We're here for three, four, two, fully extend that leg here, and we're gonna go ahead and drop down. And now find those tiny little one inch pulses. Again, really find that challenge zone and see if you can push through this. Think about what is kind for you today. If it's kind for you to breathe through this and keep going, go ahead and stay there. If it's kind for you to return back to a clamshell and, and find a little bit easier movement, that is up to you. You know what's best for your body. Let's be here for three, four, two, and one. Drop it down, pat out those beautiful muscles. We've got one more movement here to really seal in this practice and round out our little booty. So we're gonna start focusing on the top of these glutes here with some glute bridges. So we're just gonna do a quick little series of these as you place your hands on the mat, just a few inches away from your heels, really push into the ground and extend up to the top in a strong line. Roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna find just one more slow movement here. Keep the tension in your glutes as you rise to the top and find a straight line. And let's go ahead and find a faster movement. Keeping the tension on your glutes through the entire movement, really pushing your heels into the ground. If it's helpful for you, think about pushing into the ground and towards your booty. So draw your heels in towards your glute without actually moving them. It's just about the intention of the muscle. We're gonna keep going for three. We're gonna pulse at the top in two. Last one, and we're gonna pulse here. So draw that pelvis up to the sky. It might sound a little bit weird, but try to draw your tailbone. Curl it up into the sky as you pulse, finding a straight line here. Let's go ahead and hold and these side legs are coming out. You're pulling through your side booty one more time to challenge that muscle again and try to squeeze in with your inner thighs and then pull out with your glutes to make sure that every movement is backed by a muscle. You're finding a strong intention through every single inch of this movement. You're here for three, four, two, squeeze in, four, one, Hold at the top just one more time if you can. Re-engage. Try to protect your low back by squeezing up to the top a little bit more. And roll on down. Bring those knees up to your chest and roll it out. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth one more time for me here. And congratulate yourself for showing up for this practice, for challenging your booty. And I hope you go into the rest of your day with love, energy, and confidence. I love you.